Okay, um, so today I'm going to show you how to um, make the free VST plugin CV Piano sound really great. Um, we're going to tr tweak a lot of the settings and uh, make this um, a free plugin sound really, really amazing. Uh, so the first thing um, I'm going to do is just load up CV Piano. I'm using Cubase as my VST player here. Um, so this is what it looks like when it's loaded up um, at first. So the first thing um, we're going to do is edit. And then we're going to click down here on the release uh, trigger. And we're going to change it to birth controller. This will remove uh, the noise from the keys, which uh, makes it much more enjoyable to play this piano because the key noises are really uh, loud and annoying um, with the default settings. So disable the keys by changing this to breath. Um, the next thing we're going to do is to um, remove the pedal noise as well because the pedal noise is also really loud um, and uh, also quite annoying. So, at least in this uh, piano software it is. So we're going to click here, down here on individual regions and then we're going to click on these, uh, change these two uh, uh, nodes down here all the way to the right because this is where the pedal up and the pedal down noise is located. So just click on one of the keys and that's, then you have to click this button called random and again change it to breath controller. And then you go over here and change the volume, um, or turn the volume all the way down. And then we are just going to do the same for the next, uh, the next key, the pedal down noise. Select, I selected the other key down here and now I'm just going to turn the volume all the way down. So now we um, don't have any pedal noise, which is also really nice, but because as I said, it, it is really annoying in the software. Um, what we're going to do now is to change um, the way the keys uh, feel when you play them. So with the standard setting, it doesn't feel like um, a real piano, so we're going to change them and make it feel uh, much more like a real piano. So the first thing I'm going to do is to change the volume modulation. And under controller, I'm going to set select velocity. Oh, just before I do that, one important thing, you have to change this again to all regions. And then you have to click here, down here on one, just one of the keys to, se to select one of them. Um, now that we have uh, selected uh, a key down here, we're going to change the controller to velocity and we're going to change the velocity curve to linear and then we're going to um, change the velocity range um, to high. Uh, doing these uh, three things makes the keys much more responsive and seem much more like a, a real uh, piano. One thing we also have to change is the filter. So you click down here on filter and then as you can see we have a type of filter called low pass here. When you play um, in the low velocity range this low pass filter is used but when you play in the middle range no filter is used. This we're going to change the low pass. So now that you play soft and you play harder um, we use the same uh, filter so the notes and the tones actually sound uh, more alike and uh, to my ears much better. So just change this uh, to low pass and you will have a better uh, key sound. Um, now we're going to make a little change up here and gigapulse as well. So click gigapulse and click on the pedal down resonance. Then you go down to the wet uh, dry mix and you turn these sliders all the way to the left. The reason you want to do this is to make the piano seem closer to you um, and also it removes uh, a little bit of pedal noise that is still there even though we have turned the volume all the way down. I don't know why this uh, sound um, still comes but uh, anyway when you turn the wet dry mix uh, down the piano sounds better and these uh, sounds, pedal noises, disappears, as disappears as well. Um, the last uh, thing we're going to do is to add some, click on FX and then we're going to add some reverb. So you click on add effect and you select the top one and then you just like turn the room size down a little and I also like to turn the 
decay down a little bit. Also, I like to um, change this knob dry and turn it up a little bit again to make uh, the piano uh, seem closer to you. Before you um, play, you just have to turn the overall volume down. So you click on MIDI mixer and turn the overall volu volume down because we change the velocity range. So when you play the keys, they're going to be really loud if you don't change this. So turn the volume down to a, a fitting level. And that's uh, basically it. Um, so uh, now you have a, a really nice uh, sounding uh, grand piano and for absolutely free. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, take care. I'm just gonna play around a little bit so you can uh, hear what this uh, plugin actually sounds like when these uh, settings have been changed.